y'all. Um, it has been crazy. I knew my, uh, my couch fabric was coming today, which is today's Monday. Well, yesterday I got up, I was fine. I got up at like 5.30 or 6 and I was fine. I felt fine. And then the longer I was awake, like I started feeling nauseous. So I took some Zofran and then like, I don't know, about 10.30 or 11, all hell broke loose and I puked my guts out. And anybody that knows me knows I would rather sell my soul to the devil than to throw up. But I threw up and I came in here. Well, I had, like I took that Zofran. Well, I threw the Zofran up. It had not had a chance to work yet. So I came back in here and I put one between my lip and gums, teeth and gums, whatever you want to say, because um, I, I didn't want to swallow it, like take anything to swallow it with so that it would dissolve and have a chance to work. Well, that worked. I didn't throw up anymore, but I was real nauseous, you know, the rest of the day. And then Zofran makes you have a real, or makes me have a real bad headache. So I uh, had a headache, whatever. Anyway, but today we were scheduled to go have our COVID shot at 11. So anyway, uh, I'm sore as like these muscles right down the sides of my neck, around my ribs. Y'all, everything is so sore because I threw up so hard. So I was really sore, but I thought, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to go get that shot anyway because, you know, anyway. So I did and went and got the shot. We got up there and uh, speaking of, um, the arm I'm holding this camera with is the arm I got the shot in and it's kind of hurting. Um, we got up there to get our shot. And uh, dear old Dan had a fever. He had 99.4. And we were like, what? So the people that were in there with us were kind of like, did this fool just bring the COVID up in here with us? So they told him he had a sweatshirt on. And they said it shouldn't have mattered. But I said, Dan, take that sweatshirt off. And they told him he had a, you know, a cap, like most men wear a cap. He had a cap on, and uh, I took the clip out of my hair in case y'all wondered what I was doing. I had a clip up in the back of my hair. Anyway, um, he, they said, no, 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 no. They didn't tell him to take the cap off. Anyway, they came back a few minutes later, took it again. It was 99.9. It was going up. And they were like, oh, my gosh, you know, he's got a fever and it's going up. And this thing usually tests low. So we were like, oh, shit. So that's when they told him to take his cap off and leave it off. And so um, I went, me and Clay went, ran, got us, I needed, needed some groceries. So we went and got our groceries together while we waited on them to come and take Dan. Because they said they were going to wait about 15 minutes. As Callie's like, I don't know who you're talking to, but I'm coming over here by you because I got to check it out. What are you doing? <laughs> She's so sweet. I messaged Melissa this morning and said, hey, girl, stick my baby in where you got an opening because she's looking a little Chewbacca-ish. Um, be still, Callie. So, y'all, I uh, and I did ask him. I told him I had thrown up uh, yesterday with that because it does ask on there if you've had any gastrointestinal problems or whatever. So, And they said it was fine. And so anyway, they come back. Dan's temperature was like 98 and like perfect, you know, 98 something. I don't remember what. And so, no, this is what was funny. Me and Clay ran to get groceries and we went and got our little bit of, because I wanted to get bleach and peroxide and baking soda because I knew my fabric was supposed to be coming today and I want to bleach it, but, you know, before I start working on it. So I went and got all that stuff together. Well, as I'm coming back through the grocery store to go put, because I was going to put the groceries in the car and then come back and sit with Dan and wait, I look up, he's got that damn cap on again. And y'all know people were probably like, that woman is mean. I went, Dan, take that hat off as I come through. And uh, he said, they done done it. It's fine. And I was like, oh my God. So yeah, people were like, who is that lady telling that man to take his hat off? Anyway, but yeah, then people were like, these fools done brought some COVID up in here with us when Dan kept testing that he had a temperature. So we got our shots. 
and we got some lunch. We came home. I put the groceries up. We were going to sit down and eat some lunch. Well, Dan and Clay went back to work. Well, I was just going to lay here for a minute and play my game or something. I don't remember what I was going to do. And I fell asleep. Yeah, because I guess, because, you know, I, you know, when you've thrown up, to me, I'm just exhausted for, you know, because, anyway. Uh, so I fell asleep laying here. Y'all, uh, the ring doorbell went off on my phone. So I was like, ooh, I'm going to jump up because I know that's my fabric. Y'all, I guess, because, you know, when, when you're old and you sit down for a little while, everything you own gets stove up. You can't hardly move. Them first three or four steps are terrible. <laughs> when that ring doorbell went off, I was going to jump up to go meet him to get my fabric. Y'all, I hollered because, like, all everything is sore. All my muscles are so sore. I was moaning, walking all hunched over, trying to get up there to the door to meet the man with my fabric. I couldn't meet him. He, he didn't, I, he was walking back toward his truck when I got up there. But my fabric came and I'm so excited. I don't know if you can tell anything, but um, it's, it's the real thick canvas, you know. So yeah, let me get it. Let me get it washed or unrolled and cut in, in apart and get it going because I'm ready to start my couches. That's where that's where I got it from. If anybody uh, is looking to order Big Duck Canvas. And uh, yeah, it was a crazy good deal. And it was quick. They were easy to deal with. Yeah. Okay, y'all, this is already starting to turn into a nightmare. I've bleached. Okay, I started out, I put 10 yards in the washing machine. Mistake, because that was too much for my washing machine. So I tore it down into two five-yard pieces. I washed this one first, and stupidly, I dried it. I don't know what I was thinking, but don't do that. I bleached it, and then I ran it through with peroxide and baking soda to stop the bleaching process and then i did another five yards and i've got another five yards in there right now it these two have gone through the dryer i would not suggest that because y'all this my iron is as hot as it will get i've been using water to spray it with and i can't iron these damn wrinkles out y'all is this fixing to make me lose my mind i was gonna cuss but i'm trying not to but whatever yeah I'll let you know. I'll keep working and let you know. This is what is for supper tonight. We are just having a salad with chicken strips cut up and some ranch dressing. And they will probably have cheese on theirs. I don't care for cheese that much. So I'm just going to have mine like this. But that's what's for supper tonight, guys. We're trying to do a little bit better. Y'all... Dan was out, so I talked him into picking me up this brand new iron. Uh, yeah, so I have a new iron. And I was really starting to wonder, have I done, I'm like, am I making a difference? Because just sitting here ironing it, it still looks very um, um, colored. You know, like not as white as I would want it. But this is the original. So, yes, I did make a big difference in the color. This has been washed with uh, two and a half cups of bleach. And then I uh, stopped the bleaching process with the peroxide and baking soda. So, yeah, it started out this yellowish natural color. And now it's more of a... a, a lighter color i don't know what you want to call it it ain't white but i think from a distance it's gonna you know look very light um, and I've, I've still got a crap ton down here in this piece i ended up i pulled it off in a 20 no 10 10 yard piece that was way too big for my washing machine so i tore it down into a five yard so this is three five yard pieces and uh so yeah, it's going to be slow going to get this part done, but I, I do want, because I was sitting here thinking, maybe I don't want to, excuse me, hassle with the bleaching process, and yes, I do. Uh, I actually would like it lighter than this, but I'm not fixing to sit here and wrestle it anymore. I'm going to iron up these 15 yards I've got done and see where that gets me, and then I'll see... Uh, where I need to go from there. But yeah, that's the difference. That's what it looks like 
before and this is after. This is definitely more what I want. So, yeah. Back to ironing. Y'all, look at this wisteria. Is it not beautiful? Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, I hear Dan coming. Let me go see what he's doing. Y'all, it is raining. Oops, let me get Clay Man and Cali Bug in here. It is raining. It just started, literally. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm running Clay to get his, uh, well, like death, y'all, these dark circles. Let me tell you what I've been doing. Y'all know what I've been doing. I've been fighting that damn bear at my house. That roll of fabric. Y'all, I'm sitting too close to the dash or something. Man Jesus. Man does that. He to the dash. I, guess I he can't get that short. far up to the dash. I can't. I, I, I don't I know. My legs are longer than Dan's. I'm taller than Dan, too, so that <laughs> makes sense. But it seems like as he gets older, he's just shrinking right on down. Mm. Um... I've been wrestling that big old bolt of fabric. Who's been messing? Who's been in here messing with everything? I don't know. Lord. Um, y'all, I bleach. I might have said this already. I can't remember. I don't think I did. We were in the car to get the yesterday, but we didn't miss with nothing. If, if your daddy was in my car, he messed with everything. <laughs> that's just facts. Not talking about him, that's just facts. Anyway, I, I'm not a, I can't remember if I made this, talked about this already, but I have been working with that fabric, and y'all, I thought my arm was going to fall off last night. It's heavy, and I had to iron it. I even had Dan go buy me a new iron to try to mess with it, and uh we're going to pull through and get a, a croissant and a some pigs. donut right quick. And some pigs. Clay don't like the croissant and I don't like the pig. I, mean, I like the pigs. They just give me heartburn real bad. Ma'am, what the? what is it? She was over there and you're, you're not there. getting over here. She's like, I want over there. Get over here. This is why she's writing, y'all. I can't handle the crying. But I've left her a couple of times. Uh... What have I had to leave her to do lately? Uh, well, we had to go get shot. Oh, uh, when we had to go get shots, she had to get left. And then I left her for something else, too. Uh oh. Anyway, because it's getting to the time where it's only like 58 degrees right now, so that's why I'm letting her go with us today. Okay. <laughs> do y'all hear her over there fussing? She's like, roll the window down, Granny. <laughs> Dang. We're <laughs> headed to get Clay's ID renewed. I need to get uh, my thyroid medicine filled. Y'all, tell me what you think. I, Nadine West has messaged me once again. They've messaged a couple times before, and I've said no the last couple times. They messaged again asking if I wanted to start doing their package again. Do y'all want me to do that? Do y'all? I felt like it just got so repetitive. You know, pair of leggings, couple of shirts, pair of leggings, couple of shirts, pair of leggings, couple of shirts. Maybe some earrings, maybe a necklace. I just felt like it got a little repetitive. I didn't stop it though. They stopped it. They stopped like like January rolled around. They just didn't send me any more packages. But and I wasn't mad about it because, like I said, I felt like it had gotten real repetitive. But uh, let me know what y'all think if y'all want me to do that. I know a few people have asked about it. And um, so if y'all be interested, y'all, I hurt my hand the other day. I was sitting in the floor and I went to get up and all this booty up on this one little wrist. Mm. Ooh, child, that blew it out. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> ooh, um, I think I probably sprained it. Mm. And then all that ironing on top of it yesterday. Oh, my Lord. Um, yeah, let me know if that's something y'all want me to do. And I will tell them that we'll start it back up. So, I don't know. Oh, one lady. This is what we go there for. Well, this is really nice because I, I ate my croissant already. Me and Callie, I gave her the bacon and I ate the rest. <coughs> Clay had his pigs. You're not having a donut right now? I'll, I'll, I'll see this later. Okay. Granny having a donut. <laughs> I was going to say something. I turned this on to say something. What? I don't know what it was. Um. I'm not sure what I told y'all we're doing. We're going to get Clay's um, ID renewed. It ran out on his birthday. And uh, 
we got to go to Quitman, Texas. We don't have to. We could go to Tyler, Texas, but it's busy as a mofo up in there. <laughs> so we ain't going there. We're going to go to Quitman where it's usually kind of busy over there too because people have learned, well, don't go to Tyler, go to Quitman. Somebody else said you can go to Canton and it's not real busy in Canton, but we're going to run to Quitman because I need to get medicine field too. So I'll do that while I'm over this way. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. And I just eat the shit out of this donut. <laughs> Done. Do y'all see this wind blown? Looking like I've been road hard and put up wet. Look right here. We just spent an hour and 38 minutes trying to get Clay's ID renewed. Y'all, I know there's some corona, COVID, ever what this is called. Let me put my seatbelt on because I got to go back home. I got to do. Um, I'm wore out, y'all. My face look windblown. Yeah, they made us sit outside. It's only 58 degrees. I mean, it's 58 degrees, which is comfortable, but it's raining. So, it was a little chilly. And, uh, let me, how am I going to get out of here? Let's go right here, Mom. Can I go right there? I don't want to, somebody to run over that sign. Oh, okay. Y'all. Well, he gets in here somehow, so. Surely I can get out of here this way. Anyway, you had to have an appointment. I didn't know that. And uh, I can't see Jack because of all these cars parked. Okay, old man. Anyway, y'all, they said you had to have an appointment. And uh, so I was standing there waiting to make my appointment. The lady don't come out, but ever so often. So we stood and we waited 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 and we waited. And then, uh, so she finally comes out and I tell her what we needed. Y'all, she said that I was going to, we just needed to renew Clay's ID, his Texas ID. And she said, you're going to need a birth certificate. I said, wait, what? He had a birth certificate to get the one he's got. Why well, I got to have it again? I mean, the lady was extremely nice. So I'm not, I mean, she's just following rules. You know what I mean? But I said, man, we just, we, we, he, I had to show, cause that's the first one he's ever had, you know, cause he's young. But, uh, I was like, um, but, but we had to have one to get that. How, why I gotta have it again? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. And she said, let me go see if I can pull it up. So she was nice and went and was able to pull it up. So she got him on in and, and, and it took 10 forevers after he got inside the building. And uh, I, I sat outside waiting on him because of the corona, they won't let you know more than one person go. So in. how was it for you when you got in there? It was, it took a little, a little bit. It took a little bit? Yeah. Just sun, back work, and then you had sun, this and that. So, oh my God, I just came from yeah. one thing. And she took a picture? Yeah. yeah. And then he'll get it in two to three weeks, I think. Didn't she, yes, didn't she say yeah, two to three two, weeks three. in the mail? So, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, my shirt's wet. My face is windblown. My <laughs> hair looks like I've been, you know what. Anyway, I'm going back home. I'm going to lay down for just a second re 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 recoup. And then I'm going to start sewing cushion covers. That's what I'm about to do. But the drive home is about 30 minutes, so let me let me get home. <laughs> Y'all, when am I going to learn not to cut this camera off? I, went, I should have left it going so we'd have caught Clay talking. Clay was telling me what all they asked him. They wouldn't let me go in with him, and there was some paperwork that had to be filled out. So she was helping Clay, be, you know, fill it out. And he, he told me, he said, she asked me how tall I was, and uh, he said I didn't know. And I said, uh, he said I guess about six foot. I said, yeah, you about six one. And I said, but she could look at you. There's a little chart right here behind you. She could just look and see. I mean, you can look and see Clay's tall. And uh, uh, and he said she asked me how much I weighed, and I said, what'd you tell her? Because he, he, Clay's lost about 22 pounds. I haven't told nobody, I don't think. But Clay cut drinks out. He just cut. That's all he's done. Is, well, no, you've been, like, not eating sweets a little yeah. bit, too. But not much. Just mainly he just cut out not having uh, Dr. Pepper. 
he, he switched to Coke Zero and he's lost 22 pounds. But he told her his weight before he lost weight. And so I said, see, you could have told her you done lost some weight. But he said, I said, but when she asked you right off the top of your head, you don't know what to say, you know, when you're asked real something you weren't expecting to have to answer. And then we just kind of rode along and it was quiet. And he said, and she asked me if I was Mexican. <laughs> And I said, she what? <laughs> he said, I said, she asked you if you was, me no, Hispanic. Yeah. No, you said she asked me if I was Mexican, if I had any Mexican in me. That's what it was. Do you have any Mexican in you? And I was like, what did she ask you that for? And I, fi I finally figured it out. That was asking, you know how they ask you white, uh, Hispanic, you know, but that cracked us both up when he said she asked me if I had some Mexican in me. And I told her I was white as a cotton ball. <laughs> When Clay laughed, y'all, I love to hear him laugh. He said, "Yeah, I told her I was white as cotton ball." He said, "He's straight up white boy." <laughs> oh Lord! Yeah, I was like, I couldn't imagine why she was asking him if he had some Mexican in him, but then it hit me. She was asking the the race, uh, ethnicity, or whatever. <coughs> Yeah, it was so because Clay didn't know. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I said, What did you tell her? <laughs> I told her I was white as a cotton ball. <laughs> oh my God. I needed that laugh. I'm glad we went and did that today. <laughs> we got wet sitting outside. Oh y'all, and I didn't tell I didn't tell you this. A lot of us I mean, we don't get the news, so I don't I don't watch the news, but they said it was told on the news that you had to have an appointment to go there. Well, a bunch of us was showing up with no appointment, and I guess I wasn't going fast enough to sit this car because it literally just whooped around us. But the speed limit is 35 through there, and I'm trying hard not to get no more speed tickets. And I got my share. Anyway, uh, this old couple cute cute sweet adorable old couple come up and she was from tennessee and the man was from here in texas and they had just got married and she was coming to change her oh dang what did this, you this man stopping and i can't get over okay oh that one i was stopped. gonna say there was a train coming oh lord yeah i'd have been hollering i wouldn't been saying oh lord i've been hollering Woo! Road track right there that you, it's, I mean it's it's scary anyway um this cute little old couple she was coming to renew her license with her married oh. name on it and I told her I said well do you I asked her I said do you have an appointment I said I'm not getting in your business but I've been sitting here long enough I've heard her tell enough people I've heard her tell this and I said you're gonna need uh like I told her everything she was gonna need which is like everything you can imagine like two proofs of uh, residency, your social security card, your marriage, your old marriage license, your new marriage license, your, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't think of all of it right this minute. And then when, when a lady come out there, she told her, um, she was telling her the same thing, but y'all, that lady said, you're going to have to have every marriage license, no matter how many times you've been married, I'm going to have to see every marriage license. And the, I mean, can, I don't know how many times the lady's been married, but she looked like it might have been a few. Uh, um, yeah, she was like, oh my gosh. But yeah, it was unbelievable. So I then started asking people as they came up, do you have an appointment? I said, I don't work here, but I just know what she's been telling everybody. And so I can, I can help you. And this old man was standing there when the other, um, and I told him, he said he was only here to renew. And I said, well, she can probably get you in because that's what we came for. And she's going to go ahead and try to work us in if you want to hang around because she's worked us in. Turns out she wasn't going to work him in. She's going to make him take an appointment. And I felt so terrible because he had birth certificate. And I came here, I came here where all uh, Social Security, he had everything all clipped together. Bless his heart. But when that old couple, when she was saying she needed a marriage license from every time she's ever been married. And, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this other old man said to that couple, he said, uh, I think you just ought not let her drive. We all busted out laughing because I'm like, that sounds good to me too. Just She just don't, she don't need a license if she's got to get all that mess together. She didn't even have her car. She said, no, I just got married. Because she said something about she needed her car registration. She needed her, no, 
get her car insurance and her car registration, I think. No, it was unbelievable what all they needed. And uh, she said, I don't even have my car here. It's still in Tennessee. You know, we just got married. And that's when the man said, I think you just shouldn't let her drive. <laughs> and I was like, I agree. I agree. That's the best suggestion I've heard today. But I told the lady, I said, I'm not trying to mind your business, but I've just been sitting here and I've heard, you know, what they've said. And uh, when the other lady came in, I told her, I said, I've been trying to tell people. And she said, girl, you need to get up here on the other side of this table and help. I said, pull me a chair out here. I, I already know the spill. I had heard it so many times. I'm telling you, y'all, what a mess. What a mess. But I'm glad we hung in there. And I mean, I, I hate that I argued with her, but I was like, I mean, we, he just did this four years ago. But that's the only one he's ever had. It I think it was four, two or four years. I don't remember how long it was good for. I think it was good for four years. And um, did she ask you that today? Oh, there's Stanley's barbecue. Ooh, Stanley. Miss the barbecue. Uh -huh. um, did she ask you if you wanted it for two years or for four years? Oh, we had to do four. Four. Good. That's what I would have had you do. I, I smell something. Four. Surely I don't smell his barbecue. I don't think he had barbecue. Um, so yeah, I was like, I, I hate that I argued with her because I mean, she was really nice and she was the only trying to... Did you <laughs> That lady did. <laughs> her name was Gina. <laughs> How funny. Did you tell her? Well, she had to see what who's your best contact side this woman, Mom. Um, and, and she said, that's my name. Oh, how funny. But, um, yeah, and that's the lady that was telling me I needed to stay and help her out. And I said, girl, put me a chair out here and I will. I had Callie with me. I had to go put her back in the car because she was acting the most natural fool. She just was excited, but she settled down. I, I kept her forever, and then when I thought I said to go in there and help Clay, uh, uh, I bet I look like that when people, like that lady when I pa she passed me just now, looking like a sire puss. I think that's what I look like when I'm not paying attention, you know, like that resting bitch face. <laughs> do I have resting bitch face? No, like, I don't no, know. I think I do. Anyway, yeah, I needed that laugh today. That was good. I'm glad we got that done. Now, what else do we need to do? Is there anything else? Because we, we plan on when they open things back up, we going to fly our little happy selves right on up to Las Vegas. Clay Man has wanted to go see Las Vegas for years. Well, he don't want to go see Las Vegas. He wants to go see Rick. Uh, what's his name? Hey, uh, Harrison. Harrison. Rick Harrison in that Pond Stars. Pond Shop. Pawn shop whatever that is. Clay wants to go see that, and so we're going to take him up there to see that as soon as they open. I mean, it's probably kind of open right now, but we ain't about that life. We, we still need to get one more shot, and uh, so we're going to for sure get that done and wait and let that kick in or whatever, and, uh, and then we're going to take Mr. Clayman up to see uh, Rick's pawn shop or whatever, and it's in Las Vegas, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, something else. Oh, y'all. Me and Dan watched a video on Burning Man the other day. Look, I, I've heard of Burning Man, but I didn't know what Burning Man was. But we watched a video on it the other day. You think we wouldn't take our old asses up there and enjoy the hell out of some Burning Man? They're not, they, they haven't called it this year yet. Like, they didn't have it last year because of COVID. And they haven't actually called it this year. They, but they don't think they're going to have it this year. But the next year, me and old Dan... And Clay Man, <laughs> we gonna run on up to Burning Man. Where is it? It's in Reno. Where's Reno? I think it's in Reno, Nevada. Oh, I think it's in Reno, somewhere up in there. Yeah, we gonna run on up. To, and y'all, it's expensive though. It's like four hundred and twenty-five dollars a person. Oh shit! And then a hundred and forty for your car, and you gotta have. We'd take Shirley. We'd uh. Take camper. Yeah, uh, cause it's. Anyway, if y'all don't know Burning Man, look it up, y'all. I would go enjoy the crap out of Burning Man. That was Burning right Man? up. Huh? You think you love Burning Man? Clay would love Burning Man. Really? Me oh, and Dan, okay. Dan, we were watching, Dan was like, man, I would love to go there. And I'm like, see, I didn't, like, I was laying there thinking to myself, that is so my jam, but I know it ain't Dan's. And he said, man, I would love to go there. And I was like, are you kidding me? You would go to Burning Man? And he's like, hell yeah, I'd go to Burning Man. I'm like, oh, well, you better book us on up, buddy. We going to Burning Man. We going <laughs> to Burning Man. Okay. Well, 
What is Bone Man? I have to look that up again. I'll show you the video me and Daddy watched. It's okay. it's 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 probably for younger people, but uh, I don't care. I thought it was like Oh, you days. know one thing. The reason I said I wouldn't go, I can't take Callie. Why can't you? They don't allow animals. Oh, well you just. But I don't know that I'd want to go. And, cause you got it's you, the ticket is for a week. Oh. You go there for a week. I don't think I'd want to handle. I don't. We'll just go for a day. Or I don't think you can get a day pass. Oh really? I think you you have to get the four hundred and twenty five dollar ticket or nothing. It's for a week. And it's for a week. Oh. Okay. But yeah, see that the, that may be the one the thing that keeps us from going because I don't want to go there for a week and I ain't paying a hundred forty uh, four hundred and twenty five dollars for one or two days. Um, I mean, if we paid four hundred twenty five for all three of us, I for one day I'd, I'd pay. $425 for me and Danny and Clay to just go spend the night there. Uh, but I ain't paying $425 for each of us to just go spend a couple of nights there. Yeah. And I don't think I'd want to stay a week because you have to have generators or solar power. Uh, and, yeah, so yeah. anyway. But yeah, me and Dan, mm, we some old hippies. That's what I we are. I thought it was a hippie thing. That's it is. It's, but, I mean, no. they don't call it hippies anymore. No, but, but that's what I was thinking. Of. That's what it is. Anyway. But I had no clue. But anyway. so look out, not not this 2021, but 2022, y'all might see us at the Burning Man. Mm -hmm. This is supper tonight. We are having tuna fish. This is my one of my favorites. Um, I make my tuna fish with cream cheese, and those are grapes that you see in there. But Dan and Clay are gonna have it as a sandwich. But I like eating it just like this with chips, kind of like a dip. So, yeah, that is supper tonight.